Saturday, June 3rd in Cocoa Beach, Florida, awaiting the liftoff of a SpaceX rocket from Cape Canaveral with the uh, Dragon capsule bound for the International Space Station. A Dragon capsule that has already gone to the International Space Station and is now being, or has been refurbished and is now being relaunched. So this is a first. The uh, launch is scheduled for 5.07. It's about 5.05. I should see it right up over the neighbor's boat roof. And then, about eight minutes after launch, the first stage rocket will return to Cape Canaveral, roughly right over the top of those trees, off in the distance, of course. And right before that takes place, there will be a huge sonic boom that will rattle probably uh, windows and teeth, things like that, gold fillings. I don't know if I'll be able to capture the rocket coming back in. I might try to zoom in over there to catch it. Uh, there are so, some high clouds that might form the uh, a backdrop enough of a backdrop uh, enough contrast that we might see the the rocket as it uh, descends back to a landing pad at Cape Canaveral. I don't think the rockets burn. There's uh, there'll be four four engines on board that first stage that will fire as it gets very close to the ground. But I think from our vantage point, we probably won't see those fire. If they did fire um, at an angle that we could see from our vantage point, then we'd be able to easily pick it out. But uh, the fact that it's essentially gonna be a bullet falling back to earth over the top of those trees and the rockets will fire as it gets very, very close to the ground. I'm not even sure. Probably within a couple of hundred feet. Uh, I think even closer than that, actually. So we, we won't see that firing, but we might get lucky and pick it out as it falls back. With that said, and I hate that term, um, we should have a launch by now. I'm wondering if maybe there was a scrub for some reason. It's set for 507. It is uh, considered an instantaneous launch. There's no launch window because the rocket is bound, or the capsule, I should say, is bound for the International Space Station. Uh, and that space station is orbiting the Earth. And so the Dragon capsule has to catch up to it. So they have to launch at the precise moment where everything is calculated so that it catches up to the space station, unlike if it were. And there we have launch over the top of the trees. And I'm going to zoom in. Right off the palm frond there should be a glow. And there it is coming out of the clouds. Where are you? There it is. You know, it's probably going to get lost back into the clouds. Yep. And it's peekabooing as it ascends, but I don't think we're going to see much more of it. A lot of cloud cover. So I'm going to pause the video, try to time this for eight minutes, actually more like six minutes, so I'm sure not to miss it. The rocket returning to Cape Canaveral. Here's the rumble catching up to us. The 
rumble from the rocket launch. Going back to pause. All right, at uh, T plus roughly five, walking back out. Just check the uh, computer monitor. Had a successful launch, a successful deployment, uh, successful uh, separation of the first stage. It's on its way back. It should be here at T plus eight, so about less than two and a half minutes from now. I'm going to try to guess that it's going to be in that general area. Just stepped off that curve there from the Florida room to the pool deck. And what I don't know is if we'll hear the boom before the rocket would be visible roughly over those trees. Uh, sound traveling at what, 600 miles an hour? Uh, and I don't know the distance at where the boom occurs, so I'm not even going to attempt that one. But I don't think we're going to hear the boom first. I think the rocket's going to hopefully appear to us. And then a kaboom announcing its arrival at Cape Canaveral. Should be coming up on about, I don't know, one minute. Don't have a clock on the screen here to be able to tell. I'm getting a good grip on my phone so I don't drop it in the pool. When the boom happens, because it's going to, I'm going to pan up a little bit. I'm going to look out over the phone with the naked eye and see if I can pick it up. Should have probably gone outside the pool screen area because we'd have a little bit better visibility. I'll walk over here around the pool to this better spot here. There it is, there it is, there it is. I hope it's visible. Oh, 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 I saw it. For the first time, saw it. And the boosters were lit up, or I should say the, the engines were lit up already, so we should have a sonic boom here any second. It was just to the left of those... I should say just to the left of that one, that tall, um, what, king palm over across the canal. Um, boy, the boom should have gotten here by now. I don't know. I hope it's uh, visible on the video because I saw it with a naked eye and, wow, so cool. There it is. Hello. SpaceX Dragon capsule returning to Cape Canaveral after launching, I'm sorry, uh, Falcon 9 first stage rocket returning to Cape Canaveral after launching a Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. Awesome on the Space Coast. Over and out.